Stored cross-site scripting occurs when a malicious payload is saved in the website server and later executed in the browsers of users who visit the affected page. A common example is a comment section, where an attacker might post a comment with malicious JavaScript. If the website doesn't properly sanitize user inputs, the malicious script is saved on the server. When other users visit the page, the malicious payload is executed on the browsers of those users. This can result in actions like stealing cookies, defacing the page, or even redirecting users to malicious websites. In simple terms, stored cross-site scripting happens when a website has user input fields, like a comment section or a profile editor, that saves user-provided data on its server. The key difference is that the malicious payload is stored on the server and delivered to multiple users, which is why it's called stored cross-site scripting or persistent.